Um, I'm Iman Ubu, I'm the founder and CEO of Sway Media, and for those that don't know what that is, it's a digital media platform for women with entrepreneurial pursuits and women that are socially conscious and want to be part of today's most important conversations. Um, I started the company back in 2016, right before the election. I couldn't have predicted it better, but um, we really wanted to uh, provide a platform that amplified women's voices and that really pushed women's stories to the forefront of today's most important media dialogues and conversations. And Aman, you are creating content, so much content on a daily basis. When you're thinking of the types of content that will be most successful or effective in the future, is video one of them? Yes, absolutely. We are actually moving towards that and creating a whole new platform that really focuses on bringing what we've done so well editorially, but on video form. I think that's really now what the audience is looking for. Nobody's reading anymore, everybody's browsing, and you need quite snackable, digestible content that they can just take on while they're you know, walking in to get lunch or something. Um, so we're working um, on launching our own video platform um, that is going to be all about storytelling and even working with brands um, to create meaningful campaigns and purposeful content that really targets the upwardly mobile, socially conscious woman that's looking for that really important, um, smart um, dialogue, especially in today's climate. I think there are a lot more women that are looking to be engaged in um, redefining our role in society and we're craving more and more content around that so that's what really we specialize in versus news reporting or reviews or anything of that sort even when we work with brands um, it's really all about redefining the traditional advertising and create stories around uh, brands messaging and brands values and, and products that are going to resonate with specific type of women um, and, and I think that's now where also marketing, advertising, advocacy relations, PR, everything is really moving towards the power of storytelling. And Aman, we talked about considering your audience as a community. Is this strategic for you guys? Uh, yes. Um, when we first set out to launch the platform, we didn't really want to capture every woman. It's, we might not be the platform for every woman out there or the mass market, but we really wanted to focus on the women that had entrepreneurial pursuits, and that's about 12 million in the US. Um, but we wanted to stay niche because, especially at the very beginning, because that's really where you get the most feedback and that's how you engage um, your audience to really contribute to your content as well as give feedback in the early stages. What is, it, what is missing right now in the media market? What is it that you want to read more of? How should women be portrayed in the media right now? So all these questions are very important when you are growing and having a community that, is a, that you're able to tap into um, is so important versus trying to capture every woman out there because it just doesn't come across authentic, um, especially for a startup. And what's your advice for building your audience into a long-term community? Um, create original, authentic content that genuinely feels um, you know, relatable to the woman you're trying to reach. I think uh, we've seen that our most or best performing pieces have been op-eds because they truly tell a person's story and it's coming from their voice and it's powerful and I think that says a lot about what kind of content we feel related to and now we're increasing more of that kind of content because it's really it's not the norm it's missing it's not what every media platform focuses on but I think ultimately the woman we're going after just wants to be heard well not only just heard but listened to and that's really how we're trying to grow our community is by really making that our, our core value. And how are you delivering your content to them? Or what are they consuming most? Is it, are they going to your website? Are they reading your newsletter? Is it predominantly social? Uh, it's, uh, we have a more engagement on our platform um, because we focus on quality versus quantity. So we don't try to publish um, 100 articles a day. It's more about picking a few good 10 articles that we know women will want to engage with. Uh, and then, of course, emails, um, email, newsletter, and podcasts that we are now um, growing more of and launching an audio network that has multiple female voices. Um, so being in people's ears in their emails and on their websites um, or their you know browsers is, um, for us, a good strategy. Social media, of course, but um, 
we really didn't spend that much time on it for some reason it was uh, because we were small at the beginning um, so we tried to do kind of almost the bare minimum but now we're definitely kind of pushing that strategy out. I want to close by going down the line and hearing about a successful campaign or communications moment you're most proud of and why you think it resonated. Um, a, so a recent campaign we've done was last year uh, following actually an op-ed I did for Harper's Bazaar where they titled it, um, I was told I was too pretty to be CEO because it was actually my first ever comment I got from an investor when I was pitching to raise money from my company, go figure. Um, but it was an interesting op-ed where I basically opened up about the sexist comments and the struggles that women face when they go out there and launch businesses. Um, following that piece, I've got crazy amount of messages across different channels and emails and we realize that there are so many more stories to tell that are you know maybe you're not a ceo but you're you're too girly to be a fighter or something of that sort so we got all these great content and submissions from women um and we picked kind of 20 high profile women across different verticals and um you know industries and we called the campaign hashtag sway the narrative because it's all about challenging stereotypes and um, and the f sexist comments that women face. Um, and it was really successful, and I, that was my, pride, my proudest moment.